Hello, my name is Kirk Miller, and today I'm going to be talking about something that not a lot of people cover, and it's really important just for the care of your violin. So um, this is a small little half size. Um, it's got some beautiful wood, but you can tell there's some spots in here uh, where, you know, it's a little dirty, um, and especially down here. I've already gone through this and uh, wiped off all the rosin uh, as best I could. But there's some things that you just need polish for. Um, in this case, um, I'm actually going to use uh, this, which is uh, a cleaner and a polish. Um, typically, um, I would suggest if you just keep the violin clean on a consistent basis, you don't need a cleaner. Um, a better choice is one, uh, this is made by the violin maker here in Denver, um, and it's absolutely phenomenal. It's just a polish. Um, it's very safe for the violins. It's a little safer choice. Um, so we're going to talk about that first as we get into it in terms of safety. Um, of course, these are chemicals, so you want to make sure, of course, you're not drinking it or consuming it in any way, shape, or form, and make sure you have some adult supervision if you're going to try this on your own. So the first thing is you need, this is just an old t-shirt. It works just fine. Um, you can find anything that's cotton. Uh, usually what I'll do is take this off. You want to be careful not to spill it as well. Um, but just do a couple shakes. Now, right here, you can see I don't have much on there. Now before you start going across the whole violin, there's one important thing that you want to do. You want to test it in a spot because different varnishes will react differently. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna check right here just at the very bottom. I'm gonna kind of rub the varnish on, or not the varnish, but the, the polish uh, and the cleaner, and then I'm gonna wipe it off. Um, this way, if it damages a little bit there or pulls some of the varnish off, you don't do that to the entire back. So in other words, you can see that's not a problem there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start, um, the back is always the most fun. So I typically start with the, the front here. Since I've already wiped it off, we're just going to do little sections. So we're just going to kind of wipe this on. And this is one of the key aspects of this. Uh, you don't want to press too hard, especially near the F-holes. And some of this stuff you're not going to be able to get off, um, especially if they don't take good care of it and keep rosin off the violin. Now, in, this is a small enough violin. Usually I only do it in quarters. So I only do a quarter section of the violin at a time. Um, but since this is a small one, I'm actually going to do half of it at once. So with this, just kind of going over it, um, keeping that spot underneath my finger. And then as soon as you get that on, what you want to do is immediately then take a spot that doesn't have the varnish or the, the cleaner and wipe it immediately off. Okay, We don't want to have chemicals sitting there on the violin. Uh, it doesn't it's not very good, especially with an older violin that has cracks. So that's one reason why we didn't want to do that. You can see it kind of cleaned up a few areas. There's some of these little things that aren't going to come off no matter what you do. Um, and sometimes they need to be professionally cleaned. You can try doing a couple layers, uh, but I don't think that's going to happen with this. So you first thing, you want to rub it on. Or first thing I should say, test it in a safe place so that you don't damage a large portion of the violin. Um, once you go through one, either a quarter section or half of the violin, do the same thing, add a little bit more, and then we'll just do the other side here. And notice you don't need a lot on here, and you want to be pretty careful uh, near the F holes again. I emphasize that just because it's really fragile in that area, so a lot of times you can just use a little bit of speed, and the friction alone will take care of a lot of it. And some of this sticky stuff actually would come off if I spent enough time. But since this is just an introduction video, I'm not going to spend the time. Um, so then find the clean part. Go ahead and wipe it off. So you want to get that chemical off the violin as quickly as you can. Um, and any of the spots that you notice that maybe needed a little bit more time, you can kind of go over the same thing. Just wipe it off. Same thing on the back. So we're just going to wipe through this and you can see it's starting to polish up a little bit. Uh, sometimes you'll actually see the, the polish kind of staying on the, the violin and it'll look kind of dull uh, and that's fine. So remember this is a cleaner and a polish. The polish 
tends to protect the wood a little better and gives a little nicer shine, uh, to be totally honest. So this one will get at least somewhat cleaned up. And then the next video I'll do is how to replace some strings. So again, once you're done with that, kind of go over it and you can see have a nice polished look. Um, and you can do the same thing along the sides. Typically, if you're doing these, it doesn't take very much. Just kind of wipe it along, cover the violin, and I usually do the whole thing here. It doesn't take that much. And then wipe it off. So that's a key aspect. You don't want it, if you notice that it still feels kind of slick or something like that, and you still have cleaner on there, you want to make sure you get that off. So again, just a, a cloth. And again, we can spend more time on this and, and do a couple more layers. And you can see it got shinier in this area. Um, and there's a few spots in here where we could take more time and get rid of all of it. But at least that's an introduction. If you have any other questions, um, certainly let me know. Um, I will be more happy or more than happy to uh, show with some more expensive instruments and full size ones as well and show the polish versus the cleaner. One thing to keep in mind, try to make sure uh, you watch this and don't spill it. Uh, I've done that more than enough times. So with this, if you have any particular questions, feel free to just send us a message uh, and please subscribe. Uh, let me know what I can do to help you with any of the questions when it comes regarding anything with the violin or stringed instruments in general. Thanks so much for your time.